Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to talk about a common issue that some of you might be experiencing. High RPMs when starting your car. So, if you've noticed that your car's RPMs are unusually high when you first start it, don't worry, we're here to help you understand what's going on and if you should be concerned. Now, before we get into the specifics, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. All right, let's dive in. When you start your car, it's normal for the RPMs to be a little higher than usual. This is because the engine needs to warm up and the higher RPMs help generate the heat necessary for that process. However, if the RPMs are excessively high or if they don't settle down after a minute or two, there might be an underlying issue that needs to be addressed. There are several possible reasons for high RPMs when starting your car and we're going to go over a few of the most common ones. The first reason is a vacuum leak. A vacuum leak can cause your engine to run lean, which in turn can lead to high RPMs. To check for vacuum leaks, listen for a hissing sound coming from the engine bay or use a can of carburetor cleaner to spray around the vacuum lines and intake manifold while the engine is running. If the engine RPM changes when you spray an area, that's a sign you found a leak. The second reason is a dirty or malfunctioning idle air control valve. The IAC is responsible for regulating the amount of air entering the engine at idle. If it's dirty or not functioning properly, it can cause your RPMs to be too high. Cleaning or replacing the IAC valve might be the solution. The third reason is a faulty throttle position sensor. The TPS tells the engine control module how much the throttle is open, which in turn affects the RPMs. A malfunctioning TPS can cause inaccurate readings, resulting in high RPMs. Testing and potentially replacing the TPS can resolve this issue. Another cause is a malfunctioning coolant temperature sensor. This sensor provides information to the ECM about the engine's temperature. If it's giving inaccurate readings, the ECM might keep the RPMs high to try and warm up the engine, even if it's not necessary. Replacing a faulty coolant temperature sensor should fix the problem. Now, if you're experiencing high RPMs when starting your car, it's important to address the issue as soon as possible. Ignoring it could lead to poor fuel economy, increased emissions, and potential damage to your engine. In conclusion, while it's normal for your car's RPMs to be slightly elevated when first starting, excessively high RPMs could indicate a problem that needs attention. By checking for vacuum leaks and inspecting your idle air control valve, throttle position sensor, and coolant temperature sensor, you can diagnose and fix the issue. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more helpful videos. If you have any questions or concerns, drop a comment below, and we'll do our best to help you out. Drive safe and see you in the next video.